She desperately guarded her secret. It had bought her years of life, but it had also cost her dearly. Her husband had left her. Some of her friends had broken off the contact. Others rarely got in touch. It had turned her life into a secret. It was hard for her to imagine why others were so hesitant about this tech. She herself had never felt this good before. So whole. It was the first thing she remembered from waking up. Everything had felt so clear, so complete. Then the confusion came. Why was she lying in a hospital bed with all those beeping machines around her? Her oldest daughter slumped in a chair at the end of her bed. In a mix of tear-soaked conversations with her family, rushed explanations from nurses and monologues from the doctors, she finally learned what had happened. She had had an accident, brain damage, not fatal, but expected to leave her disabled for the rest of her life. The doctors had suggested an experimental surgery, a brain transplant. Brain activity was read by EEG and FAT, a machine learning algorithm. The algorithm was further fed with the complete social media history of the patient, key images, sound and videos the family could provide, and databases that contains the facts of life adequate to the expected knowledge base of the patient. A scientifically evaluated questionnaire was taken with those close family members and friends to inform predictions about effect, empathy, motivation, and other specified items. All this was fed into the computer who developed a profile of the person, who became the person, lifelike. Simulations ran and were played back to the family until everyone agreed that this was right. Behaved indistinguishable from the real person. A donated healthy brain was chosen, saturated with the data, and implanted into the patient's brain. A risky experimental procedure that was more, uh, that was less likely to, uh, to succeed than to fail. But she had declared that she would not like to be reanimated when brain damage was to be expected. It was a, it was a 37 chance of success for her family or death who took the decision. She loved it. She felt like a new person. She found it hard to remember things by herself, but if someone told her a story, she could come up with facts and impressions, memories. She could come up with new ideas. She felt so calm. She assumed that her family had known little about her doubts, her dark secrets. She wondered if she missed them, if there were parts that were gone. So many people were opposed to the technology. Her husband had left her because he felt like he was talking to a robot, no matter how her behavior was like herself before the accident. She was no robot, there was no metal in her. She was completely human, not completely herself, but why would a brain be so different from a heart or a kidney? What mattered about her, her thoughts were all there. But friends were often awkward around her, she felt like they were trying to trip her up to see how much she was herself. She felt herself all right. Only one thing reminded her about the procedure. Sometimes she looked down herself and got quite a fright. She expected someone older, more mature maybe. The tattoos always came as a bit of a shock. The doctors had warned her that this might happen. It was the alien brain, a memory that could not be overwritten. For her, it was the only glitch, the only sign that something was wrong. But it was different for others. It was what got the technology prohibited in the end. A man who had undergone the surgery claimed that it was the other brain that had made him do his deed. His guilt could never be fully established. The method was prohibited and a fierce debate erupted about what should be done with people in her condition. They weren't many, but many took the point that these people should be locked away for their own good, for the good of society, that they could not be trusted. So now she lived with her secret. 
one that had given her years of life. But it had taken her husband, had taken her friends, might take her job, her livelihood, her daughters. She guarded her secret desperately.